welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Leah and I am all about spending less, creating more, and sharing with you how you can do the same thing in your kitchen. Today, we are going to be heading out to the grocery store. We need to restock on some things. So I figured I would take you along with me on the meal planning process and then getting those groceries at the store. Weston is also going to be hanging out with me today. So I love to save money, but also I wanna save my sanity and take care of my health and my family's health. So if that is something that interests you, you are in the right place. You might wanna go ahead and hit the notification bell. Of course, like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Let's get started. The first thing that I like to do is make sure that I check my inventory before making my meal plan. I wanna see what items need to be used up and then also see what items that we normally use on a regular basis need to be replenished. And then we go from there. So we still have greens, salad, some tomatoes, little baby carrots. So we'll definitely make sure I use that for some lunches. And these are some great convenient things that I like to keep on hand, kind of for an emergency. Sometimes it's actually part of the meal plan and I'll pick them up because I know I'm going to use them. And then other times I just have them in here in case of emergency. So a couple of microwavable chicken dishes. Um, Weston had requested roast beef. So I got that in there for an emergency. Um, lots of condiments still have quite a bit of cheese, things that I've picked up on clearance or stocking up when it was on sale. We have some leftover chicken, a few yogurts. So one thing I have in here that we can use for a meal or a fun thing on a Saturday maybe is some crescent rolls. Dakota doesn't prefer them, but the kids like to have these little smokies and Malin will eat them without the crescent. Weston likes them with, so I'll go ahead and use that for a meal. Make sure that we use those up for a kid's lunch. We still have some deli turkey, just one apple. And then our breakfast drawer, I've got one breakfast box. We have eggs, some Canadian bacon. So we're pretty good on breakfast with the English muffins. I've got cereal. We're almost out of milk. So like taking inventory of knowing our staples. Dakota needs more cream, I need more milk. And then we definitely need more fruit. I've only got two large apples left on the counter, one that was in the fridge before it would go bad, and just a few clementines. We have no more bananas. I've got onions still. I need to go ahead and roast these in the oven. These are chestnuts from our tree. And now that they're all coming out of their shell, I'm gonna go ahead and remove them, score them, and bake them. So I might go ahead and put that in a video soon. In our freezer, <laughs> the kids have some random dessert drink, milkshake type things. Uh, vegetable scraps, we still have waffles from the last meal prep, so I can defrost those. This naan, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out. We'll make sure we use that, put that on the meal plan. Um, just some easy breakfast items. There's frosting and I've got a few of these fun little sliders. So we have some fries, chicken nuggets, some frozen chicken, some shrimp, veggies. This is like all veggies and some cooked chicken breast. Now I will also keep an inventory of what's in my deep freezer for the most part when it comes to items that are for actual meals. So any kind of proteins that are out there, I like to keep a list so that way I can refer to it without having to go out to the deep freezer every time I meal plan. Now in my pantry, I still have quite a few things that we can use for some lunch meal prep and also side dishes for dinner. So like the Zatarans will be great for Dakota to take to work with some chicken. The mac and cheese can be good for the kids to take to school or to serve on the side of those little Smokies on a Saturday for lunch, watching football. And there's not too many things in the canned goods section that I'm gonna be using this week. Um, spaghetti, we've got protein pasta. We actually don't really like the bonza. Next, I will write out some of the things that I know I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate into the meal plan and then I will make my meals from that.
the way our meal plan works is I go from Sunday through Saturday. So this Sunday is actually for the 27th, <laughs> then we'll go through the rest of the week. I also keep a running list throughout the week or throughout the month of things that we are running low on and everyone can add to it if they need to. This is what I add the rest of my grocery list to and I will take that to the store. Before I go into the store, I try to make sure to check through Ibotta and my Kroger app for any coupons and rebates. That way I can save extra money on things that may already be on sale, especially if there's clippable coupons. It's easy to forget to actually clip those before you get to the register. So I try to do that before I even walk through the store. Regular peanut butter or honey? Honey. Honey, honey. There's big ones on sale. I love a good clearance deal as much or more than the next person and I have whole hauls of clearance shopping trips so I'll put those in the description box if you want to catch up on those but I always have to keep in mind will my family actually use what I'm finding the deal might be too good to pass up but if it's just sitting in my cabinet and then goes to waste because it's forgotten about it wasn't really that good of a deal to begin with I'm not brand loyal to everything. Like toilet paper, I think great value works great. But paper towel, Dakota especially feels that we need to get Bounty. It definitely works better. They call it the quicker picker upper for a reason. <laughs> it's not a joke. And I know paper towel is not very frugal. We try to be frugal in a lot of areas, but paper towel seems to be pretty important to us whenever we have kids and pets and all kinds of things that we're cleaning up all the time. It just, Sometimes you need a paper towel. And this is coming from parents who cloth diapered their baby. So I guess that should say something. All right, got myself a new drink to try. We're gonna go get some lunch. We spent quite a bit of money, but we bought a lot of household products, which is not part of my grocery budget. So I will write the full amount of what we spent on food and drink items. I'll have that down in the description box for you. And whenever we get home, I'll lay everything out to show you. For our grocery haul this week, I picked up three packs of meat and we're only using one of them in our meal plan. The other two I picked up because they were such a great deal. The ground beef we'll be using for tacos and then these we use in place of roast. It is a round steak, 
This one is top round steak, and you can see the awesome clearance price that we got on those. I'm gonna go ahead and put those into Ziploc bags and then put it into the freezer. We'll use that in the Instant Pot. I've actually shared how I do that. I'll leave that video down in the description box for you. So I got three packs of meat. I also picked up two of the Red Baron frozen pizzas. These are great to have in the freezer just for a quick, easy night, or if we don't really feel like cooking, we don't know what we wanna do. So I like to have those and they were on sale with a coupon. I also picked up a few snacky items. The beef jerky was on sale and I haven't seen this flavor in so long. It feels really fresh and it is my favorite. So I got those and the Grooves Cheez-Its on a mix and match sale. Weston chose the white cheddar Grooves. And then these were all on clearance. These are Dakota's and Malin's favorite. Nutella is their splurge of choice most of the time. I think Dakota prefers the pretzel ones, but the breadsticks is what they had this time, $1.12. I think they're normally a little over $2 a piece when you buy them in the multi-pack. So I got seven of those, and then Weston picked out the zebra cakes. He also picked out some Pringles. These are his and Malin's choice right now of Pringles, the all dressed. I actually haven't even tried them yet, but it looks like they're supposed to taste like a burger almost. I'm not sure. What do they taste like? They, like, they do taste like a burger, the burger. but without the meat. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that makes sense. That's what it shows. He also picked out a bubble milk tea and I've never had these before. I don't think he has either, but he wanted to try that. And then we got a pack of lime bubbly sparkling water, Dakota's Mountain Dew Zero, and my favorite caffeine-free Diet Coke. The bread was not on my list yet. We still have half a loaf, but this is our favorite kind and it was buy one, get one free. So we got two of those. I also picked up carrots. I forgot to write down on my list, but we like to give these raw to Django, our dog. He's so sweet. Uh, but they're really great for chewing and he enjoys them as a snack and he doesn't have any digestion problems eating them. So we're great to use those as a chew snack. Got some bananas, cilantro, two packs of raspberries. These were also on sale with a coupon. The Honeycrisp apples have been really, really good at Walmart lately. So I got those and amazing price. Used to they were the most expensive kind of apple and now they're one of the cheapest. I don't know what causes that. The caramel sauce for coffees or ice cream, pick that up. We needed two more of our large seasonings. We were completely out of taco seasoning and our Montreal steak seasoning. So I'm trying the great value version. I haven't had it yet, but it looks really good. So got that. That is always a splurge, it feels like, because you have to buy so much um, at one time. So it's more expensive than just those little ones. It's definitely more cost effective to do that, but that alone was almost $20 in my grocery haul. Two cans of the Rotel. These were on sale and I had an Ibotta. So I went ahead and picked those up for our white chicken chili along with the one can of cannellini beans. We were out of teriyaki and I am using that for our stir fry. And we like to have this for some quick, easy Chinese bowls too. Weston picked out honey peanut butter for the week. Um, I say for the week, this is the really large jar. So that'll last us quite a while. And then I saw the apple cider was on sale. So for about $2 or less, I think it was, we got this. I'm gonna go ahead and heat that up and we're gonna have a really nice apple cider treat. Dakota's favorite pumpkin spice coffee cream, the Starbucks brand, it's not a gimmick. It really is so much better than Coffee Mate or International Delight. So this one and the Chobani are my two choices. Um, and I only use it in my cold coffee, but he will heat it up and use it in his hot coffee. He brews some espresso and then he puts that in there. The Fairlife Fat-Free Milk, got two of those. We use that every day. And then we were almost out of sour cream. I like to get the Daisy. Again, it's one of those ingredient type of things. This is just cultured cream, as opposed to the Great Value brand, has some other things in it that I'm just not comfortable with. So got that. Obviously we are not complete health nuts and only eat all natural. We still have a balance of things, but we don't want everything that we use on a regular basis to be full of junk. So the Chobani plain non-fat Greek yogurt is my alternative to sour cream whenever I'm trying to have less fat in a meal, if I have more fat in something else. So that's how I make up the difference too. Um, and then I like to put just a little 
lid on that and I can re-scoop as I need it, but I don't need nearly as much of this as the rest of the family needs or wants in regular sour cream. So I just get a small one for myself to use. And that is everything for this week's grocery haul. Of course, I did get other household items, but I wasn't gonna share that on here. So, and also price of Halloween candy, my goodness. That was expensive. I know this is just, I know this is a very large bag, but this was $25. And it wasn't even all the good stuff. I mean, it's good, but it's not like it was 290 Reese's. It's like a mix of things. Little Kit Kats, Twizzlers, Jolly Rancher, Lollies. So anyway, that was expensive. There's still a few other things that I'm gonna pick up later at the Mexican restaurant. We need some more salsa. This is the regular salsa and I wanna get the Salsa Picosa, which is their homemade hot sauce and some queso from them. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot believe we are almost to 6,000 subscribers. And of course, that's all thanks to you supporting this channel. I pray that you have a wonderful day. And of course, until the next video, I will see you in those comments.